Yeah, before we begin, uh, I would like to pass on this information uh, that this training is uh, sponsored by TechSoup and it's conducted under uh, TechSoup Connect uh, Uganda chapter. And the usual old such trainings uh, aiming at uh, passing on the skills to others uh, free of charge. So we promote uh, tech for good, especially for nonprofits and those members who want to use technology uh, to help out communities. So you learn more about TechSoup and also TechSoup Connect. If you don't have TechSoup Connect in your region, then you contact me, I'll put you in contact with the global coordinator for this program. Yeah, let's begin. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be sharing my screen. Uh, we are going to begin with the uh, creating a Twitter account. I'm going to have, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to create one as you follow. Then after we shall learn how to publish and also how to link up with other people and how you can actually build your community on Twitter and how you can promote your project or company on Twitter. Yeah, let me share the screen so we can begin on the practice. It's hands on training, and uh, you'll be able to pick on each and every step. Yeah, thank you so much. I hope you are seeing my screen. Are you all seeing my screen? You can use the chat or you can unmute yourself. Okay. Okay, Rehama, you have said you are seeing it. Okay. Even Amena, thank you. Okay, let's begin. So it works, everyone is able to see the screen. Uh, so with Twitter, uh, for you to be able to sign up on Twitter, you go to your browser and then and type www.twitter.com. Okay. Yeah, so when you type in www.twitter.com, uh, this is what you are going to have. You have this screen, like you can see. On, on the left, you have uh, the icon for the logo for Twitter, this one, that bad. And then on the right, you have happening now. Join Twitter today. So you can join Twitter by signing up using your Google account. If you have Gmail, you can sign up using your app account, or you can sign up using your phone or email. 
So in most cases, I prefer like signing up using my email. Uh, so I'm going to sign up using email. So you click sign up. And then you enter, you enter the name. Uh, for example, here I'm going to uh, create maybe for uh, TechSoup Connect Uganda chapter. Let me type in the name. TechSoup Connect. Connect Uganda chapter. So here the name they are telling you the maximum character it has to be, the maximum is 50, but it can also be less than 50. And then here you can see is telling me to enter the phone number, but a, in my case, I want to sign up using my email address. So I choose this, use email instead. So uh, I, I, I choose use email instead. Then I enter the email. Let me use my personal email row. At email.com. Okay, that email is already taken. Let me <clears throat> try another email address. Uh, let me see what I can use. Email.com. Oh, where is it taken? Okay. So here you have to use email, which is not already attached to a Twitter account. That's why I'm getting some challenges. Uh, most of the emails. Okay. Uh, let me use the phone number because most of my emails are attached to other Twitter account. For just the training purposes, uh, let me use the phone number. And then in your case, if you are not, if your email address is not attached to any Twitter account, you can actually sign up using email address. So let me uh, try with the, a phone number. Uh, so if you are entering your phone number, you have to make sure you enter it with, you begin with the plus, then the country code, and then your, your mobile number. Your mobile number, you have to make sure you don't have to include the leading zero. zero. So plus two, five, six. So that is the phone number I'm going to, to use just for training purposes today. Then I choose my date of birth. And that is, okay, did I? 1978. Okay, then after you enter all those details, then you click next. So I've clicked next, then it's telling me to the next screen is telling me, customize your experience, track where you see Twitter content across the web. Twitter users, 
Twitter uses this data to personalize your experience. This web browsing history will never be stored with your name, email, or etc. And then this, you, 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 you see this box here. So I, I, after reading through this, I see no problem. I, I accept with that. Then I click next. And then here I said, it's telling me that you create your account. So my name, the name I use, for example, in this case, I use uh, TechSoup Connect, uh, Uganda chapter. That's the phone number. I signed up with the phone number. Then uh, I, I have my date of birth. Uh, then I can click sign up. Then you see when you click sign up, it's telling you that we will text your verification code to the number that you use, the phone number you use, standard SMS. So I have to, to look out for that message, uh, the code, then here you have to say, okay. When you click okay, then it is text. Eh? Yes, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for the, the code to be sent on my phone. Okay, it has been sent on my phone. Uh, so it is, okay. So three, four, nine, nine. Then after you click next, <clears throat> then the next screen is prompting you to enter the password. And it's saying that make sure it is eight characters or more. So the password has to be a minimum of eight characters, but can be more than eight characters. Uh, so let me see what I can use. So I've went at my password, then you you click next. So the password is accepted. Uh, then the next screen is telling, is telling us to pick a profile picture. So here it depends on the account you are creating. If it's for an organization, uh, then you need maybe to enter uh, the organization logo. If you, it's your personal Twitter account, then you need to, to, to upload your, your, your personal photo. If it's a project uh, uh, Twitter account, then you need to pick that uh, picture which represents the, the, the project you're working on. So in my case, I use uh, TechSoup, TechSoup Connect Uganda chapter. Uh, so let me look for the, the, the picture to use. Uh, okay, I'm going to use one of TechSoup Connect Uganda chapter. Uh, TechSoup Connect. Yeah, it is here, the logo. Then you click on that, then you click open. And then, yeah, you wait. You can see uh, it's actually, it's bigger than 
what can be accommodated. So some content will be uh, cut off, uh, but for training purposes, uh, let me leave it at that point, but you can guide and then edit uh, your picture to see that whatever you want to be seen is seen. So after inserting, uh, uploading the photo, then you click apply. So then you click next. Yes, here you have to be very careful. Yeah, the next step is, is telling us to describe you need to describe yourself. You need to describe what this Twitter account you are creating is for. If it's for your organization, maybe you can enter just a brief note about your organization, like mission or vision. If it's a personal Twitter account, then you can enter a short bio about you. Like if it's somebody visits your Twitter account, and read that short bio. Uh, uh, it needs to understand which kind of person am I going to be following. If it's an organization just reading uh, a short bio of less than, the, the, it, it, it has not to be more than 160 characters. So if somebody reads about uh, your organization or yourself within those uh, recommended characters, then he has to understand that, oh, this person, he has this kind of interest. Oh, this organization is working on this kind of project. So here I can say maybe, uh, I can put uh, maybe uh, tech, technology, for social good. You, you can just, uh, you can also just put like uh, keywords which, which represent you or which represent your organization. For example, I can put tech for social good, then I, I put that, but then I can say, uh, Tech, tech meetups, meetups. Non, non profit. Then I, 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 I put that then space. Then I can say maybe technology. community development. Then I, I put that. Then I can say maybe technology for sustainable development. So you, 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 you can see that whenever I enter the, the, here it is counted, the number of characters. So you can see the number of characters I've so far used there 133 out of 160. So in my case, I can decide to stop there. That's enough. If somebody comes and read about this, then you'll understand all what all this account is all about. And then here, the next is the next screen is say, is telling us what should we call you? Yes, this is very important again. So you, 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 you need to, uh, to think of a keyword. Uh, to represent your uh, Twitter account. 
Uh, this is what we call the Twitter handle. The Twitter handle or the name. The name will be known on Twitter. So that name, it has to be after the, the at sign. You see this at sign, it is put there. So if somebody asks you, what is your Twitter handle? Then you have to give your Twitter handle as at something, okay? Uh, then here I have to think of, like uh, for example, let me say, uh, tech soup. Tech soup connect. You see, if, if the name is already taken, is telling you that username has been taken. So let me add on something. So also this one is taken. Uh, let me chapter. Also, that one is taken. Then let me connect. Your username must be, okay. Even here you can see, your username must be shorter than 15 characters. So if it's more than 15, Again, it's not accepted. So let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So actually they are more than the recommended character. Text uh, text uh, connect. Okay, I can have that. I have I've created that one. Text soup connect, like you can see. Uganda. Then let me think of one. You 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 see your Twitter handles to be something. Uh, which is not so complicated for somebody who actually who, who needs to know about your Twitter handle. So at any time is able to to remember your Twitter handle, other than recording it somewhere. Then whatever he wants, maybe to send a tweet to you, he has again to go check where he has written that. Uh, so let me think of another text so. Connect, connect Uganda. Uh, Tech soup, connect Uganda. So I have that one. I have text soup. I have text soup. See Uganda. So you can see here there's a tick which shows that the name is not used by any other person. So I can use that name. So that is what I have. Then I click next. Uh, the next the next screen uh, you are asked to pick uh, 
those which actually of your interest of your interest so they they, they give suggestions uh, and one of them we have fashion and beauty outdoor at culture at and culture and men then we have business and finance food travel uh, game career so you are supposed to select three items out of this so here i can choose technology you choose by clicking on it technology so you can see when you click on it then the color turns blue and then also uh, let me think of uh, another one maybe business and finance and then i have another one uh, maybe travel so here yeah, you can see when you choose like the freely commanded then here yeah, it say great work and then the next button becomes active so i click again Okay, the next screen is again prompting us to choose. What do you want to see on Twitter? So if you're on Twitter, what do you want to see like uh, in your Twitter feed? Uh, like you, most of you, I understand you use Facebook. Facebook, we have what we call the timeline. So on your timeline, if you choose any of these ones, then for Twitter, it will be selective and then be able like, to share most of the, the content uh, based on what you actually chose. So here I can say maybe I need like startups, uh, business news, small business, investing, uh, business media, so you choose any of your interest. Then under technology, maybe I can say uh, computer programming, uh, web development, open source, and then uh, maybe Microsoft uh, tech, uh, then data science. So you choose any of your interest. Then after you go to travel, under travel, if there's something, maybe business travel, um, Africa travel, so any, Canada, Canada travel. Then under sports, if you need anything in sport, if you need anything in music, entertainment, uh, career, uh, like in education, I can choose education, maybe job searching and networking, uh, construction, non schooling, uh, graduate school. So you go on food, gaming. So you choose whatever is applicable to you. Uh, science. Uh, if you need anything on, for science, then on, on Twitter then you might also like foods also like food fitness music sports weather so after choosing whatever you want then you click next here is saying don't don't miss out when you follow someone we will see their tweets in your timeline Yes, this is very important. Uh, like we are going to look at the terminologies we use in Twitter. So on Twitter, when like on Facebook, Facebook, you 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 actually become friend of somebody. You make friends on Facebook. So on Twitter, to make 
a friend, uh, we call it follow. That person you want to, to, to be your friend on Twitter, you just simply follow that person. And when you follow that person, then it means that whatever content is going to be sharing on Twitter is going to also to appear on your timeline. So try to follow who matters for you, depending on your interest on Twitter. So you don't have to just follow any, any, anyone, but you follow depending on the interest you have. So here is giving us some suggestions. He say follow one or more accounts. So this is, you, you, you need to follow, uh, for example, if you, I want to follow like data monitor, I click follow. If I, I need to follow President Biden, then I click follow. So whatever President Biden uh, shares on Twitter, then I'll have to see it on my uh, Twitter timeline. Then if I want to uh, follow maybe President of Uganda, then I follow. If I want to follow Minister of Edith, then I follow. And then if I want to follow Microsoft. So the list is long, MTN, uh, then the list is long. So I don't have to follow each and every one. Yeah? I follow what matters to me. Then after following a few accounts, then you click next. So there you have successfully uh, created a Twitter account. So we have successfully created Twitter account and uh, we are now ready uh, to, use, uh, uh, to use our account to publish anything on Twitter. Uh, so we need to understand uh, some of these uh, terminologies we use on Twitter before actually you, you begin tweeting. Also, this is what you need to understand before you, you begin working on any of the social media platforms. This is very important. Don't begin publishing before you work on the settings. Work on your settings first, and then you begin publishing on your social media. So here, you, 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 you can see we have, we have a list on the left. This menu on the left, you have the home, you have Explorer, you have notification. So if there's anything happening and somebody may be mentioned you, then you receive a notification. Then you have a section for messages. You have bookmark, you have list, you have profile. There's more, you can click more. Yeah. So there are more things here. Yeah, you can see we have topic, we have moment, we have analytic, we have settings and privacy, we have Help center, we have display, we have the keyboard shortcut. So let's go to settings. Uh, settings, when I click on, uh, I've just clicked on settings and uh, I need to remove this, okay. Let me minimize this. Okay. You see, these are the settings you have. You have your account, uh, Twitter Blue, then security and account access, privacy, notification, accessibility display and language, additional resource. Then also here you have account information, you have 
change password. Then you have download archive of your data. You can always download it. Then Twitter deck team and deactivate your account. If you are no longer interested in your account, you go to settings and you deactivate it. So let's click on uh, your account section. Uh, okay. Your account section, we are, when you click on it, then you have, we are going to have all this. Account information. Okay, you see like when you, you prompt to go uh, work on any section of your account, you automatically prompted to enter the password. So let me enter the password. Okay, so when you, you can see under my account information, I have the username or your Twitter handle, you can see it. It is TechSoup C Uganda. And then we have the phone number. Uh, we have the email address. If like you want to attach email address to your uh, Twitter account, in my case, I when I was signing up, I used the phone number. So here, if, if I have an email address which is not attached to any of the Twitter accounts, then I can enter it there. Then here you have the verified request verification. Then we have protected the if, if you want your tweets to be protected, then you, you, you can choose here. You see this arrow, when you click on it, then you can mark this box. And so I need my tweets to be protected. So in my case, I don't, I, I, I don't need my tweets to be protected and then if you need like a account creation is, is showing you when you created your account and then it is showing you uh, the, 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 the time we created and then the date we created and then the country where you created it. Um, language here you can change the language and here you can change the gender and date of birth something like that so if everything is okay with your your account settings then you can go to other settings like uh, security privacy and safety notification accessibility additional resource. Uh, so if everything is okay, then you, 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 you proceed on to another setting you want to, to work on. As you now go back to maybe you go and work on your profile. So these are the settings you, we, we, we've been working on. And then we can look at the profile. So before, again, you publish on Twitter, make sure you work on your profile because when, when people visit your account, then they'll see, they come and read about your profile before they follow you. So for the profile, again, you come to this menu on the left and click profile. So I've already clicked profile. And when you click on profile, then when you're logged in, you, you will say you need to edit. You need, so I can click edit profile. Uh, here you can see we, 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 we put our picture here. 
in my case, I put the logo. Then here you can put a banner photo, which represent your account. For example, let me just pick a picture for you to be able to see. Um, okay, okay, let me. Uh, for example, let me just see. let me just use this. Uh, I'll I'll remove it. Let me just use this. So this appears as your banner picture. So have you seen? Then after you don't have to forget to save. Uh, I can scroll down. You can see. Here, I have the name. The name, you don't have to confuse it with your Twitter handle. This is the name, like the, the, the title of your account. So the, the name of my account is TechSoup Connect Uganda Chapter. So for the name, you can always change it. You can change it whatever you want. And then, the bio is, is that one. And then location, you, 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 you can put the address. Yeah? For example, I can sell, this is in uh, Uganda. Uh, okay. Then if you have a website, if you have a website, you can include the website. If in, 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 in uh, some cases, people, they don't have websites. So you can maybe uh, include your Facebook link, your, 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 the URL of your Facebook account. If you have a Facebook page, you can include that one. So whatever you have, like a, a website, anything, a URL, then you can include it. Uh, for example, in this case, let me see if I can have TechSoup. Oh, wait. TechSoup. TechSoup. Okay, let me put the URL of uh, of Exop Uganda chapter. Uh, let me look for it. Uh, okay. Take soup, take soup, take soup. Okay, chapters. Let me. Okay, let me. Yes, I have it. I have it. Um. Okay, uh, so now here uh, I have this, the URL. Uh, let me put the URL of TechSoup Uganda Connect chapter, and then the location Uganda, and then uh, this, I put this. Apply. Then after you don't forget to save, you see this save. After working on editing your profile, then you click save. So you can see 
how my profile is looking like. So you have this as the banner picture, then I have this as my picture or logo. And then uh, you, you, you can have the title of your Twitter account here. You can see TechSoup, connect Uganda chapter. And then we have, this is the Twitter handle. You can see Twitter handle here, this one. It is at TechSoup C Uganda. So that, that's the, the name you are known on Twitter, the Twitter handle. And then here falls the, uh, the profile, uh, a bio, your bio, the bio of your Twitter account. Then here, you see the location we, we entered in the one we are editing the profile. Uh, I put Uganda, then you see the website, the URL. I put TechSoup Uganda, it was a long URL. It was a long website. So Twitter within its design, it, it, it can complex. It can complex long websites or URL, something very small so it can fit, it reduces the character. But when you click on it, it browses to that particular website. Then also it includes the data I joined, right? Uh, here you can see here, seven following. So I'm following seven people. Uh, then I have zero people who are following me. So no one has followed me back. So that one also you have to be uh, careful with that. Uh, you, you, you don't have to just follow. You, 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 you follow and then you leave also some to, to follow you back. So the balance has to be there. But usually uh, when you are just beginning on Twitter, you, have, you are following so many and you have less people are following you. So Twitter always suggests for you those you should do follow, like for example here, uh, you can see I have the new vision uh, and this doctor. So all these proposals are brought to your timeline based on those, the topics that you chose. So Twitter will always uh, pick using its search engine, then bring everything to your Timeline. So if I, I want to follow again, like a new vision, I just click follow. If I want to follow this, then I click follow. Uh, if I need to follow this, then I like that. So I think well, we are done with a little bit of that. Then let's go back to home. You can see I'm, 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 I'm the profile, I'm at the profile section. Here, you can see it's at a blue file. So let me go back to home. You go to back to home then by clicking home. Uh, so when you click home, this is what you see. Uh, you see my timeline is this one. So I've already started receiving some good content. So this content, is coming to my timeline for those people I fold. So I have that information there. Dania is telling you what is happening. So this is the section where you can actually publish, where you can create a tweet. So the on Twitter, the information you want to publish on Twitter is called a tweet. So you create a tweet by entering it here. So here I, I can say, maybe let me say take soup, 
sexo con e, connect Uganda chapter sexo connect Uganda chapter on Peter. If that is what you want to share with the rest of the world, uh, then you just click tweet. Let me click tweet. You click tweet. So that tweet has gone. And the is beginning to count. So you can see uh, it, is, it is reflected on my timeline. TechSoup Uganda chapter on Twitter. So, so far it's one tweet. And uh, when I go maybe to, 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 to my profile, let me check on my profile. It will show me the number of tweets I've sent. So you click on profile. Uh, so profile, you see I'm following uh, 11, then I have zero who are following me. Uh, then here you click on the, the tweets, the tweets I have. So it's only this, this tweet that I have. So it's one tweet. Let's go back to home. Uh, so here you can again create another tweet and then publish. Also here, you can look at the profile. I mean the menu on the, on the left. You have this word tweet. If like, uh, uh, you, you don't want like this section, you can also even use this. When you click, it becomes like that. If you don't see, if you are not on your timeline and you can't see this, then you can click on this. Then you, 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 you type the information you want to share on Twitter and then click tweet. Yes. Uh, let us look at uh, what they call, so we, we all know at this moment, we know what we mean by the Twitter handle. The Twitter handle is your name. It is the name which is after uh, the art. Huh? So if somebody asks you your Twitter handle, then you have to provide that Twitter handle with at, ta, 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 ta. for example, in our case, it is at TechSoup uh, C Uganda. That's our Twitter handle. And that is the name you are known on Twitter. On Twitter, you are not known by your name, uh, your, your name. Your name on Twitter, it has to have this, the sign at then following with the, the words. Let, let's look at what we call the hashtag. We all know hashtag, look at this menu on, on the left, the ash, you, 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 you see this symbol ash, this one, ash. So the hashtag, Hashtag, what is the use of the hashtag? Hashtags, they help us to categorize content on Twitter. Uh, good enough, we also have hashtags on Facebook. So if you want to categorize your content on Twitter or Facebook, you can always use hashtags. Uh, for example, uh, we, we this tweet we created, let me copy it. Uh, 
do you see this fit we, we created? Uh, for example, if I want like, a, I want to contribute to a certain section of content on Twitter, what I do, for example, if I want to, uh, my tweet to be reflected under that category of content. For example, uh, this tweet I have, Take Soup Connect Uganda chapter on Twitter. I can say maybe, let me hashtag the word Uganda. You see? I've just hashtags, but here you can see, it is telling me this hashtag Uganda, uh, today people who have contributed to it, that there, there are 710 tweets today. Then also there's a Ugandan 140. So you see, your tweet, for you to be able like to promote it to other category of content, you can always use hashtags, but you have to use hashtags appropriately. Uh, you don't have like uh, to put so many hashtags within your tweet. Uh, for example, if I uh, on Twitter, I can also decide to hashtag the word Twitter. Uh, so you, you, you see is telling me uh, that this, the word Twitter uh, in the last hour, last hour is telling me in the last hour, people who have contributed to this hashtag, we have 370 tweets mentioning about uh, hashtag in the word Twitter. So it means that though I'm communicating to the world, but also I'm uh, creating content, I'm contributing content to those other hashtags. And for you create uh, contributing to those as hashtags, then it is helping you like uh, to promote your tweet for example, if somebody is looking for content on Ugandans, uh, hashtag the word Uganda, or hashtag the word Twitter, uh, there are more chances that he, he, he will be able to read your tweet. And that's how like uh, most of the people's content he, he, he gets uh, linked up to other users on Twitter. So don't just send a blank tweet, like a sentence, but try to use more, some of those, uh, those like uh, the hashtags. And then also you mention, what we call mentioning on Twitter, uh, it, it's like I'm going to, when I, I, I mention you, it means that I'm going to include your Twitter handle in the tweet. So when I include your Twitter handle in my tweet and I tweet, you are going to receive a notification that uh, I, I've mentioned you in the tweet. And also uh, you, you are, you, you'll be able to, to receive that message. Uh, for example, I, in this case, maybe I need a text soup to learn about the, this uh, we have just created. So I say, uh, text soup connect Uganda chapter on Twitter. Uh, on Twitter. Then I can say maybe, let me mention a text soup. You see? Text soup, you, you can see text soup, it was just a, a word, but I can mention them instead. I can put at in the beginning, at, uh, at text soup. 
So you, you, you can see when I put at, then it changes, okay? So when, when I tweet, uh, whatever I've mentioned in the tweet is going to receive that message, a notification about that message. So that, that's how you can actually uh, create some professional uh, tweets on, on Twitter. You don't have just to create a, a sentence, but uh, your sentence, you hashtag those keywords you think that, 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 that they are followed by so many people in the world. And then also you make mention of some individuals or organizations or companies in your tweet. Also, for example, uh, don't just send, uh, let, let me go back here. Don't just send a tweet, uh, just a text. This is what you need to understand. Uh, a picture, a video, anything speaks much. So in our case, for example, if this is our tweet, uh, Texu Connect Uganda chapter on Twitter, I can decide to include a picture. So this is, a, this, this is what you do if you want to include the picture. Uh, there, these icons here, you can see one when you point it, it's a media, here it is a DF uh, image, then pool. Uh, this is image, then schedule, something. For example, we need the picture. So you click on that media. Uh, for example, maybe let me use this picture. If that is the picture I want to include on my tweet, then I attach like you've seen. Then after I tweet. So you've seen, so always, always, always on Twitter, try as much as you can to include the picture or a video link in your tweets. The pictures, the video, they speak far much than text. So somebody will be attracted with a, a photo you've attached on your tweet. And don't just uh, pick a photo, but you pick a photo which you see it can be, it can attract the, the audience you are sharing too. And maybe somebody is just passing by, then you'll be attracted by that uh, photo. And then eventually uh, follows you back. Yeah, so we've seen how to create a, a tweet. We've seen how we attach a photo and then how we follow and how we create, how we create tweets and how we hashtag. Then uh, uh, let's look at the search. Uh, usually, most of the social medias, they have all social medias, they have the search section. Uh, so on Twitter, for example, uh, I, I, I need to, to follow somebody, but I don't know his or her Twitter handle. But maybe I know his or her email address. I can search a person by email address. You can search a person by phone number. You can search a person by his name, but usually that one will give you so much information and you need to dig deeper into that information to pick exactly uh, that person. So for example, if I want to, let, let me follow, uh, if I want to, to follow, for example, uh, let me, my two handles at Rob 
underscore clip. So you see, this is my Twitter handle. So if I know the Twitter handle of that person, then I come to the search and the, it comes like uh, it, has, it has done, then I click. Uh, when I click, uh, for example, this is my, this is my uh, Twitter account. But you see the TechSoup Uganda chapter, uh, I, they have not been following me. So when I searched, then I can follow them. I click follow. So Twitter is telling me, take a moment to help keep Twitter safe. Uh, what happened in order to remain uh, maintain safety on Twitter? We may occasionally ask people solve a simpler task. Once you do, you will be able to use all the features. Uh, what next? For full access, please pass an okay start. Okay. The, the the number of security checkups are nowadays on most of the social media. And being the fact that this account has just been uh, created, uh, then uh, I need to go into verification processes for me to be able to like maybe to send a to follow somebody. Uh, please solve this puzzle so we know you are a real person. Uh, verify. Pick a lobasta. Uh, pick a lobasta. Okay, I don't know. Okay, try again. Let me try again. Okay. Pick an iron. Pick a lion, pick a lion. I don't send a lion now again. Uh, pick the lion. Okay, I'm trying to pass this, but uh, whatever they are telling me to pick, I don't see it. I don't see the lion here. Uh, okay. One more chance, okay. Pick a lion. So this is 
is to for just security purposes uh, just created the account and uh, we need to go through all these security measures so they don't they Okay, we we've passed. So this will happen to you like when you are on the first time on Twitter. So they at all the time they need to prove that you you are human, you are not a robot, and your activities on Twitter are appropriate. Um, okay, that one now we've seen how to use the search. You can search a friend by Twitter handle, you can search by email address, you can search by a phone number. Uh, so you can search. Also you can search, for example, uh, uh, some of you are doing maybe research, you are doing a, a desk research and you want to get some content. For example, if you want to, you, you you work in research on a water project and you need to get more work on water you can search even the hashtag for example if i put hashtag water and then i enter let me so you you can see all what is brought is about water, eh? water, water. Those people who contributed and then they use hashtag water. So you, you can see, this is what I talked about. Uh, look at this tweet, hmm? this particular tweet. Nice little stream near our home, not frozen yet. Eh? Ash nature, ash water, ash nature photography. So you see, this person shot a video and really th this is interesting you see it's so attractive for somebody to look and you can see uh 35 have liked it then 11 have tweeted maybe another thing i've not talked about is the tweet for example we've come to this particular tweet like if i want to share it to my followers, you, you, you come here below that particular tweet, you see this sign here is tweet. So when you click like uh, retweet, then it brings you option retweet, then quote tweet, uh, quote tweet, it means that uh, you are going to enter some uh, text about that and you quote this particular tweet. Then if I say just tweet, retweet, then I place retweet. Re retweet is like sharing. You, 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 you again share. You, you share the content which is created by others. So on Twitter, to share content created by others, we call it retweet. So retweet. Then if this content is good, for example, yeah, I can like it. You click like. Then you can apply, you, you can reply, you can leave a message here. Mm -hmm. For example, if I, uh, I click reply, then I say, oh, good content, uh, good content. Thank you. Then you, 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 you click apply. So social media, this is what we have to understand. Most of the social media platforms you are working with, try as much as possible to like people's content. Try as much as possible to share people's content. 
owner share content, which actually matters, which uh, actually uh, has connection to your interests. Don't just share for the matter of sharing. So when you share people's content, when you like people's content, then those people are likely to be again following you back. They are likely to associate with you, something like that. Uh, I think we've covered most of the things that we need, the basics you need uh, for working on Twitter. And if you've not been having uh, a Twitter account, so you know how to, to create one. And actually, you know how to work on your profile and you know how to create tweets. So practice with uh, that little knowledge that you've been able to acquire today. And whatever you have challenges, then uh, feel free to check on me and then I'll be able to help you through. Uh, let me stop sharing this. Okay. Okay, thank you uh, for attending. Maybe if you have questions, uh, please feel free to ask. Uh, feel free to ask and uh, whatever you have a challenge you working on Twitter, please uh, just uh, drop me a line and I'll be able to assist you where you get stuck. Uh, my Twitter handle, let me share it and the yeah, thank you everyone who have appreciated. And uh, yeah, my Twitter handle is uh, Rob. Okay, then for the email, you 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 send email where you get stuck, then I'll be able to respond to you. Um, that's my email. So if you have a question, uh, feel free to ask. Otherwise, we are coming to the end of our training on Twitter. And uh, I, look, I look forward to read most of your tweets and uh, try to use uh, Twitter as much as you can. It's a platform which can help you to create communities online. Uh, very simple. And uh, also make sure that the tweets you create most of the time, you include the photograph, you include the video. So whoever is reading about your tweets is able to, yeah, to feel, uh, to, to, to feel the content you share. And also those who are not following you, then they'll be able to follow you back depending on the content. And this is what you have to understand for most of the social medias. People, they will associate you with the content you share always. So work on your content before actually you publish it. Be consistent with the content you share online, most of the social media. Then I'm very sure you'll get a good results out of that. Yeah, with that, I thank you. And I thank our sponsor, TechSoup. Uh, for giving us the time uh, sponsoring this training. And uh, we look forward to get in touch, to keep in touch with everyone, wherever you are. I wish you a happy holiday and God bless you. Thank you so much. So good uh, training. Uh, I've known little, but today I've known a lot about it. I want to ask one thing. Yes, please. Hello. Yeah. So, like I have my Twitter account, and can I use the same like phone number to open another tweet for the organization? Oh. 
it will collide like uh, will it affect mine oh i have to because like i have tried for facebook and it is saying it is not accepting yeah thank you margaret for that question uh yeah. now for your organization like you can create as many as uh, many twitter accounts as possible uh depending on the fact that uh, you've not used again that particular email address or that particular phone number for another Twitter account. So if the phone number or the email address is not attached to any Twitter account, then you can actually create one. Uh, if like maybe what you have, you no longer interested in that, then you can go and deactivate it and then you create another one with that email address. So I will advise you mostly for the organization. For the organization, don't use phone number. Uh, try to use email address. Uh, for the phone number, you can use maybe for personal, uh, for personal Twitter accounts. Because at times you might leave the organization and then uh, it's your phone number which is attached to that account, then it will be difficult for others again to have access. Yeah, I don't know if I've answered you. Yes, Margaret. Okay. Yeah, with that, uh, we, we come to the end of this training. Now, please keep in touch. Whatever you get step, uh, get in touch with me. I'll be able to assist you wherever I can. Yeah, thank you so much. And we'll, let's meet again. God bless you.